The stage looked set for Patricia DeLille to eventually fill the post as Premier in the Western Cape. But her resignation as the party's provincial leader might change all that. DeLille has come a long way from being a PAC representative and a trade union shop steward where she started her political career. And she has done well for the DA by bringing in the coloured and black vote when she was the leader of the ID. She insists that her resignation has nothing to do with infighting within the party. I've not been threatened by anyone. In fact, I don't feel threatened by anyone. I, I operate on the basis that um, we all have a constitutional obligation uh, and that we must live by our word, that we must make that constitution a living document. And anybody that attempt to threaten me, I will deal with you. Um, I've shown that also in the past, that I take no nonsense from anyone. Political analysts believe that a storm has been brewing within the DA for a long time. I do know that there have been tensions and rivalries between DA elected representatives who came into the DA from the Independent Democrats, the ID, and DA reps who are, let's say, coloured ex-Nats from the National Party who came into the DA. And over time, there's been a tendency that several of the ex-ID people in the DA have moved from elected posts into permanent posts in the municipality or in uh, uh, the province, which implies that they were uncertain if they could outvote their rivals when those contests came up. In terms of prestige and formal hierarchy, a mayor is below a provincial premier. But in terms of budget and capacity to do things, the mayor of Cape Town ranks above the premier in a number of ways. Although DeLille has resigned from party politics for now, she still remains the mayor of the mother city, believed to be one of the fastest developing cities in the country. Nomao Tusolwandle, SABC News, Cape Town.